Danube is an environmental treasure, but it's also one of the most modified rivers in Europe. Channeling, flood protections and hydropower plants have altered its natural balance. It's the case here between Slovakia and Austria. There is starting another reservoir, which is uh, downstream of uh, Bratislava, sitting behind here, and there we have more sedimentation. A large dam a few kilometers upstream from here blocks the flow of sediment. This can increase the risk of flooding, hinder navigation, and affect water quality and ecology. These researchers are measuring the behavior of the river, looking at any imbalance between the sediment and the flow. When there is an imbalance and there is a more sediments and, and less, less power, so there is a sedimentation, and vice versa, when we have a less sediments and more water, then is uh, erosion. So uh, all this problem and understanding of this problem can lead us to the effective uh, uh, measures to improve the situation. The DREAM project aims to promote knowledge sharing for improved sediment management on the Austrian-Slovak border. It has a budget of 13.5 million euros, more than 60% of which is financed by the European Cohesion Fund. To better understand the morphodynamics of the Danube, scientists carry out simulations in this laboratory in Vienna. They've created computer-based models to enable authorities and companies to make better decisions but they're facing a size problem. In this small flume, we have the problem that um, we have to scale um, the processes. And we can scale widths of rivers and, and depths so on, but when we want to scale the sediments, we, we came into problems. So the less scaling we have, the better it is. This is why a huge one-to-one -one scale hydraulic laboratory is being built here in Vienna with a unique discharge capacity of 10,000 litres per second. That's equivalent to 60 bars of water per second. The improved research opportunities will allow promotion of innovative measures for sustainable river management. Rivers are a lifeline in our environment. It's good for recreation for humans, but of course also for animals and plants. So we need to restore river systems. We are really confident that with this hydraulics laboratory, we can contribute a lot to solve our problems. Scientists hope their research will help restore the sediment balance in many rivers around the world.